earlier too, so he's definitely got a good fashion sense. This is the boys' 15, 16, 500 yard freestyle. In lane number one, Brett Usinger. Lane two, Chris Schaefer. Lane three, Nick Silverthorne. Lane four, your prelim leader, Curtis Ogren. Lane five, Tom Kramer. Lane six, Ben LaRude. Lane seven, Zach Selfridge. And in lane number eight there at the top is Kyle Nadler. So right in the center, we've got a pair of guys that swim for peak. And uh, I think both of these guys are high school swimmers as well, and that's where the unattached uh, next to their name comes from because Tom Kramer, I interviewed him earlier today, he had uh, a high school meet actually on Thursday and Friday, so that's why he was just swimming for his first day yesterday. And man, did he make an impression right off the bat with a far western record in both the 200 fly and 100 backstroke. 147 in that 200 fly, completely unrested, completely unshaved. So Tom Kramer, who now in lane number five, I believe is right up with your leader, swimming pretty well for a mid-season meet. Those boys were out in 51 highs, 52 low there for Kramer. So very fast here on the 100. We have a three-way tie going on, or a three-way close race here at the 150 mark. I down definitely think these boys are going to drop a good amount of time from their prelim swims. Down in lane number three, that's Nick Silverthorne, who last year at this meet really did a number on the record book. Also in the mix for some of those national age group records. He set the national age group record in the 400 IM this past December in Columbus, Ohio. But he's got about a body length to make up on your two leaders, Tom Kramer and Curtis Ogren. Kramer with the advantage as they flip at the 200. 146.51 for Kramer, 146.74 for his teammate Curtis Ogren. Yeah, those boys are neck and neck here as we are almost to the halfway point. Kramer still with a slight advantage. Still in third is Silverthorne, but there's a grace race going up there on the top of your screen with about an arm's length lead in the middle of those three boys up there is Zach Selfridge. Tom Kramer pulling slightly away from Ogren there in the middle. Ogren this morning was a 436.9. Kramer was a 438.6. We'll see what these boys flip here at the 300 and see if we can make some predictions where they're gonna be around by the end of the five. Kramer out in 240.64 at the 300. Ogren out in 241.56. So it's going to be a challenge. They're probably going to be right around the same time Joe Riggert was, somewhere in the 432 range, I think is safe to estimate. What do you think, Tiffany? Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be below that because Kramer looks like he's building and getting stronger throughout this 500. His stroke is still looking long. It's not as quick there as the tempo of Curtis Ogren, but... I think he's going to be low 430s. He was just a 27 on that last split. So we'll check what his split is here at the 400 and figure out if Tiffany's estimation is right. You're absolutely right. He doesn't look like he is laboring. In fact, he looks like he's picking it up big time here at the 400. And he flips it 335-21. So if his fifth... 100 is his fastest he might have an outside chance of getting under 430 here today yeah i think it's going to be very close he still has a great kick going on his stroke is still long and he's now about two body lengths ahead of curtis so as long as he doesn't shut down knowing that he has secured the victory his arms look like they're picking it up just a little bit tom's got a busy day ahead of him he's also got the 200 im and the 50 freestyle coming up as well but He's on pace to put up a very good start to his second day here at Far Westerns, everyone else's fourth day, but Tom Kramer definitely leaving his mark in just two big days of action here at Morgan Hill, California. Great race here going on for third on the bottom of your screen. Now trying to make a comeback for third is Chris Schaefer down there in two, who has come out of nowhere basically, but getting the touch is gonna be Tom Kramer with a 430.33 in second, Cotus Ogren. 433.47, and getting that third place touch in third is Nick Silverthorne, 437.74. I would love to see the splits there on Chris Schaefer as he was 
a good couple body lengths behind the field and definitely put together a good last 100, 150 to, to get right in the third place run.